Okay, so this is the final layout, um, and I'm using the first drawing that I went through because I thought some nicer features happened here, and I don't know why that is, but if you'll notice, I don't know if we can zoom in here without it being too long with redraws, but if you'll notice, the terrain really kind of um, really pivots down here, so you get a nice feeling of something being deep um, as far as the water uh, collecting in that area. Um, and unfortunately, this is really tedious as far as the amount of redrawing time. So um, I have a windbreak view. I have a parking lot view. This actually looks like a nicer parking lot view um, than was originally done. And um, the site view with a bunch of things labeled. And we'll wait for that to regenerate. Collector stream, roof collector stream, retention pond. Retention is, um, instead of detention pond, retention meaning it usually has water in it all the time. Um, the wind rows, the porous pavers, the windbreak labeled back here. Um, and then that view on the backside from the pond. And um, so let me, um, let me try to go where I exported the whole image. Maybe that'll draw faster. Let me quickly find it here. Yeah, it's coming up on the wrong screen, so I have to move it over. Oops, that's my pond thing. You notice I compacted this in a little better, so it read a little nicer. Um, I thought this scene really reads well. You could actually raise up the back uh, image to get a little more of the trees in, which would be a little more maybe attractive. Um, I got the, it felt like it had a nice feeling, like it was up on a rise. But once again, the windbreak, um, probably better trees here. Um, and that's about it. So this is what I'd like to see. I left a big blank in here for you to... Um, do a little bit of a descriptor about what you thought about the project. I think it's really important going forward. We went through this whole exercise to break you into using BIM tools for site development. I think you can see that there's there's enough at hand to do um, a lot of work with inside of Revit um, as far as placements of objects, labeling of things, communicating of ideas. Um, going forward, instructors are always going to be looking for the north arrow, north arrow, the site orientation, the evaluation of wind on the site, how you're managing water, how the building is placed on the site. In this case, we started with this being the highest point and moved everything down from there instead of putting it into a, like a valley or a flood area. And we um, kind of dealt with the idea of the entry condition. So. Um, it's a bit of a look at environmental controls um, or environmental design for building and siting, and also just working through the basic tools that you need to uh, create these elements. So this is what I'm looking for as a submittal. Um, and I hope you can do a better job than I did even, which would be very nice to see, as usual.